Prepare it. Check, What's this? Check, test, test. What is this? You, what is this, like Holocaust footage? What is this? <laughs> check, one, two, test. Ben, ben knows about a zoo where they keep a certain type of people. <laughs> check, one, on two, a, test. It's like an eagle live stream, this like an eagle's like, nest. This looks like Abbott and Costello go to Auschwitz. <laughs> Oh, this yeah. is a, a Samuel Beckett uh, play. It's called Waiting for Godot. Oh. Mm. Yeah, it looks like shit to me. <laughs> it looks like it sucked. Everybody yeah. looks like they're Levi Helm for some reason. Yeah. They're all old as shit and wearing stupid old weird hats. I really like the... Uh, I really like uh, Samuel Beckett's books because he's like he's like this Irish like cocksucker, right, who like studied under James Joyce. And yeah. He he wrote in French so he could write without influence. So he and uh, so he wrote in French. It got translated into English and stuff. And then he won like the Nobel. Pro uh, he won the Nobel, right? And then his stuff is like every guy in his book is like the most retarded guy <laughs> to like yeah. ever live. It's the yeah. most retarded. The main character is always a guy who's like, I keep a a sucking stone in this pocket, and I put the stone in my yeah. mouth, and I suck it, and I transfer it to this pocket. And then that's my sucking stone is in my bottom right pocket. I move it to the bottom left pocket and I put the sucking stone in my mouth. So it's just about like suck. autistic mm -hmm. Irish guys. Yeah, but you re you say the dialogue really fast, so people like in theaters are like, "This is brilliant." Jace is kind right. of right. He's yeah, he's mm -hmm. out of mm -hmm. I mean, It's that like Tom Stopper, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead type of thing, where it's like, well, one plus one is three if you add five to it and make it eight, and people are like, "Whoa, fuck!" Right? He knew all the words that he said. Them. Right, right, right. Holy fuck! That type of shit. It's yeah. like literary who's on first. Mm -hmm. A little bit, yeah. But he kicks ass. He kicked ass as a person. Too. What is he? Is he? Uh, what, what is he from? Irish. He's Irish. Yeah, yeah. He, studied, he studied under Joyce. As James Joyce was... He did. He was under his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Joyce liked to shit all over yeah. him. He studied eating ass from James <laughs> Joyce. <laughs> Writers are so gay because... Uh, Samuel Beckett was obsessed with James Joyce to the point that he married his daughter, actually. He married James Joyce's daughter? Yeah, who was schizophrenic. I like the and idea Carl that Young you go, was... he was just obsessed with Joyce. <laughs> like, he wasn't just a fucking creep. <laughs> he... he was a fan. <laughs> he was a big fan. Mm -hmm. he... he wasn't a man with schizophrenia <laughs> yeah. copying another man's life. No, he was not. Well, he actually wore the same size shoe as James Joyce, and it was four sizes too small for his foot, and like fucked his toes up. I mean, mm. he artists... did that for years, and his feet would bleed. Like a geisha? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was ja he married James Joyce's daughter, and she's covered in shit. <laughs> Just because J James trained her early to well, be a hoe. Joyce's daughter was obviously like schizophrenic and like a whore. Yeah, and like he married this. I mean, woman. she's Irish, so I get it. And also, like Carl Jung was uh, psychoanalyzing James Joyce's daughter, weirdly enough. And like Jung had to pull Beckett aside and be like, "Look, this pussy's mid. Yeah, this shit sucks. It's whack." He's like, "Listen, this is some dry ass shit." I'm Carl. I'm Doctor Carl, Carl Young, Young, and this pussy dry as fuck. Yeah, Bubble Young. Yeah, that pussy cap. For real. <laughs> yeah, Carl Young with like Matt Rice, like fucking mm. outfits. And he's like, and <laughs> by the way, I'm going to fuck her. <laughs> actually, now. I'm going to do a bunch of cocaine with Sigmund Freud, and we're mm -hmm. going to fuck her. Yeah, so as James Joyce was dying, uh, Beckett, like, you know, obviously every Irish writer, especially back then, they all want to be James Joyce. He's like the Michael Jordan of the country. Yeah. So, uh, you know, Beckett actually translates uh, Finnegan's Wake for Joyce because he's so he's like so many STDs he's like blind he's an alcoholic he's laying in his bed and every day he'll just be like eh, pee <laughs> and then and then like he'll write a big P on a piece of paper and Beckett's like very good and it took him nine years to write a book doing that because he was, James Joyce because he was so blind yeah he would just have a huge <sighs> huge piece of paper and he would write one letter this big on a piece of paper what a nightmare. and then turn it and then write another there's letter. gonna be some oscar winning movie that comes out about the whole process <laughs> too know. it'll be three hours long just a grumpy old man shitting himself and <laughs> sniffing and demanding filled underwear mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Right, he's blind, so they try to sneak a man's ass yeah. in his face. He's like, I, "That's not a woman. I can smell it." <laughs> He'll be played by Eddie Redmayne, that little fag. <laughs> it smells like sour cream. That means there's bars there. <laughs> Who is Eddie Red Redmayne again? Who's he's that, that little piece. I don't know. He pisses me off yeah, for some reason. That little fucking like Scottish that twink. That little weird twink that played. Uh, he played Stephen Hawking. Yeah, oh, he won. He literally won fucker. an Oscar for going. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
He played the smartest guy of all time, who was oddly retarded. But mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. then he played the he played the Danish girl. He played a trans yeah, tr- trans lady. lady. Right and then after he, it, and then he was in that like the, the uh, that movie, but like Abby. Uh, uh, Shapiro, the, the five, yeah, Abby Shapiro. <laughs> they made a movie about the greatest tits of all time. He was in that movie uh, about like the Chicago Five, or I don't know. Oh, that Abby Hoffman, Abby movie. Hoffman, that yeah. that huge hunk of shit from uh, piece of shit from uh, Aaron Sorkin. Yep, yeah, yeah, with the uh, Sasha Baron Cohen. Sasha Baron Cohen. Like, he was pr- he was pretending to be like a real actor. Yeah, and the guy from Succession. Um, yeah, Jeremy from, Strong. Well, I'm Jeremy. sure prepared for it for like 17 years. He literally did. Like he did so much acid, he like fried his brain. <laughs> And he's walking around as Jerry, I forget the guy's name, but he's literally just going like, hey, man, power to the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was really overdone. Yeah. I do like Jeremy Strong because he's so retarded. He's great. Yeah. He's great. I love actors that are retarded like that. Like, that's what mm-hmm. they're supposed to do. Yeah. You're supposed to devote your life to being an idiot and just make it look good for us. One of my favorite actors of all time, Daniel Day-Lewis, he was doing Hamlet and thought he saw his real dad's ghost on stage. And it went insane, like had to like be committed <laughs> for like a couple days. And then he never did theater again because he was convinced. Daniel Day-Lewis, really? He's so good at making himself retarded. He really thought he was Hamlin. And he saw his dead dad, his dead gay Irish dad being like, oh, you fag, you're doing your theater. <laughs> and then he started weeping on stage. They're all so troubled over there, man. They shouldn't even be allowed to do art. Like, Listen, like pencils should be forbidden in I'm, the entire I'm country. not kidding. I love Irish people. I've only dated Irish women for some weird reason. I think that country should be scraped into the sea. <laughs> yeah. Like a, like a plate full of like leftovers that have gone bad. <laughs> God, God should, should pick, take a big chisel. God should pick up that island, hold it over the trash, and just scrape the whole country. <laughs> Into the fucking... Tr- there are sick people. Which is crazy. It's the only country, supposedly, that will really survive global warming and be fine. But, but they'll all kill themselves is the problem. Yeah, yeah. 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 They'll all resort to cannibalism, I'm mm-hmm. sure. It'll turn, it'll turn 75 degrees there, and they'll all die of skin cancer. Yeah. Well, they're, they're, all, they're all pissed off right now, because, like, uh, I think, like a, like, a refugee stabbed a bunch of kids... Oh, in Ireland? Yeah. So they're set in Ireland on fire. Yeah. Is he like an uh, Arab or? Uh, he was a uh, uh, no, he's Algerian. From Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> he was an Algerian. And then, like, Conor McGregor's one of those big rampage on Twitter. Like, they need to go. <laughs> it's just, it's turned into a real, you know, conservatives being like, the fucking muzzies, they're ruining Ireland. Yeah, can you imagine trying to, like, kill a bunch of people in Ireland? They're like, all right, Mr. Let's fucking go <laughs> now. Put him up. <laughs> Doing the old 1800s yeah, like, boxing. Yeah, like the Notre Dame logo. <laughs> Did you see Conor McGregor's kid, by the way? No. He, he was posting like, it's like the ugliest baby I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it looks like he punched the baby. <laughs> like he fought the baby. He punched his, uh, he, he punched married her his... out of the pussy. Yeah. He like fucking got the baby. It was being born. He put it in a fucking triangle and dragged it out. Yeah. You could just see him like, I could see him shaking his wife. <laughs> like a trash like she's a trash bag that right. he's trying to get open mm-hmm. he's doing that with her uterus like a cart- until the baby flies yeah. out of her a pussy. cartoon nerd in the ghetto in the 60s <laughs> getting the money shaken out of <laughs> yes. his pockets like she doesn't need a push I could I could do, do he's like yeah. he's like Doc let me pu- let me punch the baby out of it <laughs> he's, he's Australian he's he's like, <laughs> it's me calling him a cracker <laughs> I was going to say, speaking of hunks of shit, uh, Rob Schneider. New Schneider? Uh, there's a new Schneider. New Schneider. New Schneider. You wow. know, there's a video that's so funny. It goes, there's, it's, on, it's on like Variety. It's over like five years ago. It's like Rob Schneider breaks down yes. his iconic role. Yes. <laughs> Dude, it, I've, I've seen it. It's great because I've watched those and it's like William Defoe being like, well, when I played Jesus, I got into character. Rob Schneider's is every character. They like, listen, I can play a Chinese guy. I think that's fine. <laughs> He's like, I got into character. I punched myself in the balls every morning. Yeah, he, there's literally one. It's it's when they they're going through the the things. He's like fifty first dates. He's like, well, I love the Hawaiian people. I'm a part Hawaiian, so I can play that guy with the coconut breasts. And then they get to I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry, and he goes, Listen, I got a lot of uh, got a lot of criticism criticism for this. But let me just say, I think there's only one race, and that's the human race. And then it just cuts to the next role. <laughs> because like, what is your like what like what's your inspiration for going ah ting tong 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 yeah and like marrying doing a fake gay marriage. Yeah, he had big buck teeth and like a bowl cut in that, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's like he like does like breakfast at Tiffany's like uh 
uh, Andy Rooney characters. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like big, but like he'll just, he, he's the only guy like the 2000s that would be in a movie with a rice hat on, mm-hmm. big buck teeth. Doing and com- it'd be called like the Chinaman <laughs> with Rob Schneider. And he got plastic surgery to play that role. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then he had to get unplastic. He did um, plastic surgery. You can get like you get it. Yeah, they, it, they actually do away. have they actually do have unChinese surgery. He got plastic surgery to become Chinese, and then he got plastic surgery to become white. Yeah, after he, that, he went to those doctors <laughs> who make Asian women look white. Mm-hmm. That actually exists in China. Mm-hmm. Yeah, do you know that's a real thing? And he just rubbed no. his poop all over. Like, his face. Chi- yeah, in China, their version of a BBL is getting their eyes like widened and like fucking oh, like wide. Oh, yeah, yeah, like jaw bones like put into them so they look like white. Mm, so mm. what's great is that he this movie is coming out. Uh, so everyone's bad at him that was a fan of him because you know he's like a conservative guy, right? He's a big anti-vaccine guy. Yeah, right? yeah. So he posted that this movie is available. And it's only available on DVD at Walmart, mm. which apparently that's a no-no right now because of something that they're obsessed with, with corporations and Israel or something. Conservatives are mad at Walmart? Yes. For some reason, conservatives are mad at Walmart right now. Are they now. all starving to death? It. Where are they going? I don't know. They're like they're They good. haven't played Eminem in months. <laughs> They do, they do not have any copies of Delta Farce on VHS. <laughs> so, Mr. Sam Walton, I say no to you. Yeah, I think they're boycotting Walmart for some reason. It's like, like a Magatard having to go to the Trader Joe's now. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Just be like, where I heard they had Trader Mings. Where's all that shit? Fuck is Trader Joe Toes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking for some fucking pasta. You're telling me you made this burrito Mexican. <laughs> it's fucking disgusting, Trader Jose shit. We are not supporting Walmart no more. I haven't seen any movies for sale where the bad guy's a raccoon. This is it. We're not supporting Walmart anymore. I'm buying kombucha at Whole Foods. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Daddy daughter trip? Yeah, I mean, this looks like a guy like steals his daughter and like takes her to the desert to fuck her. <laughs> Look at the cover. Look at the cover. It, really it looks does. insane. He's holding her backpack. Yeah, that face should be on like a police yeah. bulletin. The car is <laughs> swerved out in the middle of Route 66. No what, one's around. What if the tagline is like, that's right, he's going to fuck her in the desert? <laughs> The tagline is, that's right, that's the whole movie. The whole movie. <laughs> He'll give her the spring break of a lifetime, even if it kills him. That's, she looks like she's like 10. Why is she on spring break? Yeah. He's like, that's right, they're going to take her to the devil's backbone and rape her. <laughs> that's the whole movie. So apparently, I think it says... Uh, what is that tumor? Does Rob Schneider have brain cancer? Why is he he must tumor? get <laughs> He must get hit in the head. A old wacky. He must get knocked out. It is probably like on sitcoms how like if a woman gets pregnant, they have to like like either shoot around it or ride it into the show. Mm-hmm. Like he probably does have a huge tumor growing out of his head, and mm-hmm. they're like, he just we got to write something in at the beginning that he got hit with a yeah. big anvil. The, that yeah, has nothing to do with the plot. The producers are like, so listen, Rob's so retarded that his brain's growing a tumor from all his retarded thoughts. <laughs> so we got to like first second he gets hit with a golf ball, and that explains yeah, most this of the is, movie. It says introducing Miranda Schneider. I love when so they do. This is his daughter. It's his daughter, yeah. yeah. A fucking another Nepo baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's like the I'm lowest, sick of it. the lowest version of nepotism. Yeah. A woman, who, a girl who made twenty thousand dollars in this movie <laughs> that he stole. <laughs> okay. Oh, so my friend Sam at Real, Real Online Boy, you guys know him. He told me that Sandler did the saddest, like. You know when a f- you see a friend promote something of another friend's, but it's clearly not even really an endorsement. Mm-hmm. It's just that friend is a- acknowledging, like on their right. Instagram story, it exists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. where it's it's a, like a famous, talented guy. They have a friend who's near homeless, mm-hmm. and they they clearly like yeah. have to shout him out so they can still play golf with yes. him every like it's the other equivalent month. of the thumbs up reaction, like mm-hmm. in text. Mm-hmm. You know, like yeah. I'm alive and I saw that. The yellow thumb emoji yeah. too. Not even, that. Yeah, not, not even the yellow. Th- not even that. It's just hitting, hitting the, the, reaction the reaction of the thumbs up. Yeah. Where it comes up really slowly and mm-hmm. sad and you're like, oh, all right. Anyway. Right. I like, thought I said something. Yeah, like the reaction where like you text your dad, like, by the way, I'm gay now, I'm coming out, and he just like <laughs> thumbs up reacts. <laughs> Blocks you. <laughs> Blocks you. Exactly. Yeah. Apparently Sandler said uh on his Instagram stories, he goes Wow, go get this movie at Walmart. Rob Schneider said he was going to make this movie, and he did it. <laughs> oh, 
He's like, it exists and can be watched. It can be watched at Walmart. Yeah. You know, Sandler like like was looking at his stories where he's like, who, who fucking posted that? <laughs> <laughs> Just some guy from his team who got guilted. Yeah, I trying to figure out why people are mad though. Like people with like Ron Swanson gifs are really pissed off because this is disheartening, you know, in quotations. Stand up to the corporate bullies and against woke culture, Rob Schneider. Also, buy my movie at Walmart, Rob Schneider. How is Walmart woke? I don't know what it's they did now. that's woke. I don't know why. Because they ain't stopping the blacks from stealing. <laughs> woke woke corporation. I, th- I told Walmart put a sniper's <laughs> nest at the front door. Let me ma- let me man it, brother, free of charge. I heard Walmart's going to be selling GTA 6. <laughs> Which is full of ratchet hoes. Yeah. I hate GTA 6, the the game where you're going to be able to shoot black people. <laughs> and I hate it for some reason. That's so <laughs> funny. That video game trailer came out and every, which everyone on Twitter turned into David Duke. I know. <laughs> when it should be their ultimate uh, fantasy. Figured it out. Well, there are a lot of white guys that are like, I can't wait to drive into these things. Mm-hmm. And you're like, Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. Which I, I texted you guys. It, those guys are insane, but it is also funny. Like at Rockstar Games, there's a guy going like, "Make that um, black crack whore make her yeah. uh, make her titties sag a little bit more." <laughs> yeah. Like going to like a guy who doesn't speak like a full yeah, Asian yeah, yeah. guy coder, and he's like, "Can we when they get in the fight at the gas station? Can her whole titty and ass crack fall out?" Yeah, yeah. Just, he's like, I can oh, I can decode okay, the deck. Yeah, just the Japanese guy scrolling TikTok <laughs> for to get a sense of America. So they are fighter alligators and they are Karens. They hold hammers and they yell at the black teens. <laughs> so you yeah, they have to teach him all about black all culture. About black- it's just like 80 Asian guys, and he's like, so and they're like, so you tell me black guys can cheat and that's cool. But if a woman does it, no, it's oh, no good. They do not use a car syrup when they have a cold. <laughs> <laughs> why we do not understand why the two cups the, the, the coffee syrup had don't stop a cough it give a good time that are crazy uh, Ray goes, shoot though uh, <laughs> we're thinking about bringing in your grandfather uh, he he was the animator for Donkey Kong right <laughs> Yeah, we're thinking we might be able to pull him uh, in here. And, this uh, is a great opportunity for him to do racism. <laughs> <laughs> which he loves so much. They yeah, can, they, keep up the good work. And remember, no Asians. Remember, no, not a single fucking Asian in the thing. <laughs> we want to sell some copies, goddamn it. <laughs> He's an Asian guy knocking on the CEO's door. And he goes, we do not, uh, the penises, we cannot make them big. <laughs> we just can conceptually not wrap our mind. Uh. <laughs> around it yeah a rock star is I, I'm wondering how racist it's gonna be like your wanted level it just goes up to five bananas well it's a it's, <laughs> it's like yeah. Jesus Christ oh, man damn. like good lord yeah you, they, they reveal they're like by the way these are all black criminals from Florida <laughs> <laughs> Like it's it's like Synecdoche, New York, for like racist, yeah. like Florida. Yeah. The game does mm-hmm. look like you could go kill Triple X Tentacion in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh. I mean, because it I, it is very funny. I mean, they're even playing a Tom Petty song. It's over... amazing. It looks amazing to me. Yeah. Like, no, I'm so excited. We probably can't for play it, it right now. Nah. No, well, it is no. promotional. We no, no, no. They, they were taking it even off Twitter. They're insane yeah. about that. Oh, show. okay. We can, we can't play it, but. I mean, it's going to be awesome. I'm going to get a PS5 just to play I'm that I'm literally going to get one, too. Yeah. yeah. The, gra- I, the graphics blew my mind. That woman shaking her ass in the car. I was like, I kept rewinding. And I'm like, that. I thought it was real footage that they were using. Mm-hmm. It's all It's all the graphics. It's it's crazy. Yeah. I saw a tweet. I forget who that really made me laugh. But it just said, in GTA 6, you can rape. <laughs> <laughs> that's fun, dude. That's I, that's an old. I used to do that joke. Oh, wait, really? Yeah, I used to do a joke on stage. Right? Me and my, one time my friend was like, he said something crazy. And then I made a joke about being like, which button's rape? <laughs> like, because you, I think, what if, what if GTA, what if this game is going to be like a, like a, like it, it cures racism. Like mm. it's a flashlight for racism because right. everyone's just too busy shooting black people at home. Mm-hmm. So then, so you're saying like Anthony Camilla plays in twelve hours of this game and he goes, you know what? I was wrong. Yeah, he goes on Twitter <laughs> and he's like, I don't even, I don't care anymore. I'm exhausted. I've had a long day. Yeah, he keeps coming every yeah. time a new black guy goes, does the horrors that I've seen today that I inflicted. This is literally what I saw people saying. Like they're like, can't wait to run into them. Can't wait to drive through them. <laughs> 
Twitter. It's fucking insane. I know, just just like three black women. <laughs> it's just three black women walking, and they're like, "Look at these fucking! They're ruining the country. They're getting sun." God, these some of these women have huge asses. Yeah, the black women have big asses. Black, the black women have gigantic asses. Been it's a known thing. Black women have big asses. That's a, chi- a chihuahua. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That's actually a, a Mexican person. <laughs> that's that's how, rock stars Mexican guy. <laughs> that's how they animate them in the games. I mean, if like you know, if like Roxanne Gay or something is in the game, like I'm gonna, you know, it would be cool. If you could bust into homes mm-hmm. of the of the rich and famous. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like if they were like, cause, I mean, it's clearly Miami, right? Yeah, it's supposed to be Miami. It would be great if like they're like Matt Rife's at the Improv, and you can just like fucking set yeah. the thing on fire, like mm-hmm. Inglorious Bastards. I'm just gonna pretend all these women have their own shows on HBO. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a sketch group. Yeah, right. you're, like, you're like, where's Amber Ruffin? Is this the Black Lady sketch show? Let's get her. God damn it! You're like, show me on the map where Quinta Brunson lives. <laughs> <laughs> This ass is so big. Yeah. And it's nice. so realistic looking. Ooh, very good. It's so realistic looking. Hey, everybody. The holidays are stressful enough. It's time to take something off your plate by putting HelloFresh on it. HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. They send pre-portioned ingredients with delicious recipes straight to your door. It's way cheaper than takeout, and you won't need to go to the grocery store, wait in long lines, or spend all day trying to decide what to eat. HelloFresh makes it easy with over 45 recipes and more than 100 seasonal add-on items to choose from every week. They're all delicious, and you truly can't make a wrong pick. Um, We've all used HelloFresh here. Devin, I know you made a very tasty meal. It's great. I made an incredible meal a couple times. It's uh, it's excellent. It it allows you to cook, but you don't have to think about anything. And I just, I didn't even make the meal. I just took all the pork out of my box and cooked it up with a bunch of eggs. You can do whatever you want. They just give you ingredients. You don't have to make what they give you. It's fresh ingredients, but they also give you great recipes if you want to do that. Um, HelloFresh even has easy breakfast. You can quickly whip whip up before you uh, run to work and fast 10 minute lunches. So go to hellofresh.com slash lemon free and use code lemon free for free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life at hellofresh.com slash lemon free with code lemon free. Thank you. HelloFresh, And back to the podcast. Thank you. Hello fresh. Uh, but this, I mean, this coming out, I mean, what an opportune time for a daddy daughter trip. <laughs> mm. Oh, and by the way, so I figured out. So uh, it is so hot as fuck. I turned the heat off. Uh, Rob Schneider, you want me to turn the fan on real quick? No, 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 no. no, no it's fine. Keep going. Uh, Rob. I, say enough. <laughs> I, enough at you. I figured I got to the bottom of the Rob Schneider thing. Sure. People are boycotting Walmart right now because they are no longer sponsoring on on X. They don't have ads on X anymore, so they are woke. Mm. What were their ads for? But I don't get it because aren't conservatives pro-Israel and then uh, people pulled out of Twitter because Elon said something that was I know. Elon, vaguely anti-Zionist? Yeah, Elon's trying. I think he's creating um, an electric Jew. <laughs> he wants him to be less, more silent. And uh, he's like, we've, we've, we've created a car. <laughs> they've created a car that runs entirely off greed. <laughs> All you right. get, it's you get a, in it and you want money and it just starts going. You, you get in the car and then you hold a fish pole with a quarter in front of the car and it God just goes. Damn, right. Well, there goes the second strike. <laughs> Sorry. The, yeah, it's strike. a very fun. Let's go. <laughs> strike two. Yeah. We have no idea what God is. So we don't know what to not say, but. You know. Yeah, last <clears throat> episode, folks, if you're missing it, we didn't not put out one. We had to put it on. Uh, Tw- uh, we had to put it on X and uh, <laughs> Patreon. Mm-hmm. I-, I guess we have to call it X now. I can't call it Twitter. Yeah. I call it Twitter. It's called Twitter. Don't call it X. We put it on Twitter. We put it on Twitter, and then Elon screen recorded and posted it on his yeah. page. <laughs> Just the whole thing without credit. <laughs> yeah, but no, Elon's, Elon's gone crazy, right? I guess. Big, yeah, he, press he looked like he was on drugs when he was telling the advertisers to like they'll fuck off, and then everyone will know that they ruined they ruined Twitter. I know, which is so funny to like do his big like succession moment. And he's like, he's like, go f yourself. Yeah, and then like oh, yeah, he's, silence, and then he's like, no, I mean it. Go go fuck yourself. And he he like gets like a kick out of it. He thinks it's so naughty to say fuck. Mm-hmm. And there's literally one moment where he goes, no, no, no. We, no we, the the thing is, Jews. 
Israel. Yeah, he's go fuck yourself. He's definitely on something in that clip. He looks really like he's tweeting. Yeah, the spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Twitter is fucking so insane. The other day, I watched a video of a like six people killed in a drive-by in Puerto Rico. <laughs> Horrific footage. I watched it three times. And <laughs> I, I bookmarked it. I bookmarked it. Watch it before I got in. <laughs> and uh, I you watch I, you watched it on the bus with no headphones in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I Bluetooth it to uh, to my uh, Beats, mm-hmm. and I'm like, fuck. It like actually affected me for half a second made me feel like a human. I'm like, Jesus, that's horrible. And I scroll down and the guy that posted it, the first, he, he, resp- he responds to his tweet and he goes, check out my weed store. <laughs> that's like the website. Right, yeah. He's like, by the way, if you like watching Puerto Ricans get killed, yeah. check out The Chronic. Order some gummies. Yeah. It's like the sick, it, we live in hell. <laughs> and then, But there are people responding to that like, is the promo code, does that work on dads yeah, too? Yeah, and they're like, by the way, R.I.P., <laughs> He's like, but if, if that was my mom in one of the videos, can I get a free bag? That's what. That's why you gotta check. You gotta check out. You gotta watch Rob Schneider movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You gotta go down to Walmart yep. and spend the eleven ninety nine. Good God, look at it. He looks like utter shit there. Yeah, he really look does. Look at that image. He looks like you killed Matt Rife and wore his skin. <laughs> he looks like a cadaver. <laughs> we have to go down to Walmart after this and get it and watch it. I would love to watch this Why on is it Patreon. On Put DVD, it on it's not on Amazon. No one's buying DVDs, dude. I well, I bought the Blu-ray for the whale so I could watch oh, the bonus features. If I hear, don't even go <laughs> yeah, more into this. I think I shut said, the fuck up. I think I've said this before. I was at Best Buy getting like an SD card for the podcast, and Ben goes, "By the way, if you while you're there, can you get the whale?" And I just did I, not I just, respond. I I can't I fucking walked, take it. I walked past a Tower of Whale Blu-rays, and I I that no one them, wants. I flipped them <laughs> off. And there, there was a guy shouting, he goes, please, please take them, they're free. And I go, no. No, thank you. Did you talk please about this? Thanks- did we talk about Thanksgiving when we randomly? No. What? We were sitting around like it was Thanksgiving. It was a great Thanksgiving. Um, oh, at, friends, our, at my house. At your house, mm-hmm. Friendsgiving. Yeah, yeah. But we're all sitting around like the guys and the girlfriends and we're just talking and then somebody points out, they go, is that a framed picture of the whale? <laughs> Right next to the TV. Right on the mantle. On the mantle. Oh, over yeah. your fireplace. Yeah, like a, like a moose head. Yeah. <laughs> he gets Ben bids Ben blows all the Patreon money on the plastic mold of Brendan <laughs> Fraser's face <laughs> and mounts it like a prize buck. But dude, never again with the, the that was the last Blu-ray. That's the last disc I'll put in it. It took me forty five minutes to figure out where my PlayStation was. Yes. I had to get it out. You gotta change the HDMI setting. I had okay. to update it. I had to plug it in. I had Who's to figure out where the controller was. It was working. I can't do it, dude. Yeah. I can't do it. Because they're not in this thing. And they're not in my Mac anymore. So it's just done. Laptops don't even come with a place to I watch yeah. one. So. I bought a laptop this year. It doesn't have anything in it. Yeah, it's it's done. Yeah. But that's the only way you can watch this shit. Yeah, they well, stopped be- that laptop stopped having DVD players because Rob Schneider was putting a movie out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And to be fair, the only people watching this movie uh, like have to watch TV in their car. So <laughs> Yeah. They're they're watching it on a DVD system a rich family put in in 2004, <laughs> and they stole yeah for their Toyota Matrix. <laughs> yeah. they, well, they have DVD players. In. So I guess even though there's like 45 different streamers, he couldn't get this on a single one. So it's oh, yeah. out on DVD at Walmart. Dude, this you trailer's imagine, a year and a half old. Can you imagine calling Truvy and they hang up on you? <laughs> yeah, calling like Fub uh, uh, like, Tubi. Uh, Tubi. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it takes like three days to finish a movie on Tubi. I think people were telling this guy, uh, Rob, please have another place we can support your work other than Walmart. Kind of pushing a boycott on them. Thanks. And then someone immediately comes in and goes, you can purchase a rent digitally from several places, Vudu, Google Play, or YouTube. Yeah. I love one of the places is like, they're like, Google Drive has it. Yeah, I, you can watch it on Google oh, Drive. This guy goes, "Thank you. I was looking to buy physical copies of all his work, but not support the huge <laughs> wow. corporations as much as possible." Jesus Christ! Can you? Im- <laughs> like he wants it on his. He wants it on his shelf. Can you imagine a guy with like a really good hi-fi system, like flipping through? <laughs> guy, fucking amoeba, <laughs> looking yeah, for the Rob Schneider flipping collection. Through, he's like, he's like, "Do you have the, the? You don't have the unrated cut of." Uh, I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. Yeah, and someone goes, uh, you want to have physical copies of his shit in case there's an EMP that goes off and destroys all digital copies. I mean, Rob Schneider's fans are like people who live inside they go, rocks. You want, you want the physical copy because the streamers are deleting classics. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, God. Okay, can, can we watch some of this trailer? Yes. Sure, go for it. Damn. Okay. It's premiering first in Arizona at Harkins Theater. I mean, what even is that? I don't know. That was two Har- years ago. Harkins Theater? It doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, that could be. They're, they're playing the movie on the side of a turtle yes. <laughs> at a drive thru. <laughs> By the way, is this yeah, the movie punch- will premiere on my yeah. on a guy's phone on the subway? And the movie ends when the turtle finally walks out of frame. Yeah, movie will premiere on the bus while a black guy watches it. It only exists on one black teenager's phone on the bus. Yeah. The sound system is a cup that the phone is in. You could take this DVD to Africa where they literally play, I'm not making a joke, movies on the sides of cows mm-hmm. as the, like because they don't have a sheet. Sure. And they'd be like, no, no, we, we no, don't. We do, we do not care for Rob's opinion on the vaccine. No, no, no. <laughs> we, we all have AIDS, so we do not like, we need AIDS vaccine because we keep raping babies. Which is true. The babies have AIDS. <laughs> no, it's true. I think we talked about it. It's true. It's, yeah. it's been confirmed. Yeah, it's, it's actually been confirmed. True. I heard it on Huberman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huberman did a whole episode Huber, about it. Yeah, Huber, the bottom of Huberman's it. run out of ideas. His newest episode is like, which race is the worst? <laughs> we have a scientist who's going to break it down. On Who the to pod. stay away from for your mental health? <laughs> 15 studies done at uh, Compound Media say. Oh, my God. I'm wondering. I'm wondering if anybody is going to tell that they couldn't afford to film outside of a hospital. Yeah, that's like a digital Scott. That's a that's a digital hospital, like like image of a hospital. Mm -hmm. Scottsdale Blood Center. That's like that's a they took that a picture of a blueprint for a hospital that hasn't been built yet. Yeah. And just put it on screen. (laughs) Okay, round two. Mr. Buble, you can only give blood once. You start to feel weak. Ah, here to donate blood. I am here to to donate the the blood. Oh, so it's like we get to see a lot of characters. Mm. Like this is like a, it's like a, this is a big, it's a collection of his characters. He's Mm. showing off like all the many. He's 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 like master of disguise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, he's he's very much like Scorsese at the end of his career. He's reflecting on all the characters he's done. Yes, and making a meta commentary Mm -hmm. on them. You don't get paid for your blood. You get paid for plasma, right? Or am I kind of showing my ignorance here? I don't think you get paid for blood that often. Plasma it's kind of a do. scam. Plasma you do. I knew plenty of people Plas- that did the plasma. Plasma thing. and cum you get yeah. paid. Yeah. What is what's the difference between plasma and blood? I think plasma's in your bones. Mm. Yeah, they, they suck it out of your bones, yeah. but blood you give it and they actually any blood that's given for free, they end up selling that to hospitals. So they actually make money off and of you free don't? blood. Yeah. Mm. I think John John was making money selling plasma for a little bit. Mm. John's probably got like 80 I mean, kids across the country. <laughs> Making money isn't the right choice of words there. John was getting bus fare. Was He was giving blood for the cookies. Yeah. <laughs> isn't it funny that John technically doesn't have a job, yet he sleeps in an office? <laughs> he's the only unemployed man who sleeps in a place where people work. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's the most employed guy I know. Yeah. He, it's actually funny. He sleeps, oh, wait, he works at a bar. He works at a bar. He works yeah. at a bar. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, well, in, in but it is funny to say. Yeah. yeah. But <laughs> Who cares? Who he cares? No one likes it. He works at <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That's, no, not, no. True. that's not true at all. We John's actually John. one of my favorite people in the whole He's world. He's the best. Yeah, John's fantastic. But it is funny. He, but fuck him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But it is funny. He he sleeps in an office and then works in a train station. Yes, <laughs> he does. It's like you took a madman career it's and then shook it up like and then rolled it like it's a- like if Don Draper <laughs> left work and slept in the gutter. <laughs> yeah, tra- Don Draper with schizophrenia doesn't know what he's doing. Uh, All right, back to the and, and I love John. I just did Ida Hour, Ida's podcast yeah, yeah. with John. I love John. Every- but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Back to Rob Schneider. <laughs> That's funny. Because oh, he drank too much OJ? So he passed that, for anybody listening, he he had to drink a bunch of orange juice at the grocery store because he gave too His much blood. Blood sugar was low or whatever, right? Oh. I guess at the hospital, they don't take your ID. They just like... They, they just let you dress it. up like a pilot from 1940 right. and come in. And just go, are you gay? <laughs> Give more blood. Yeah, yeah. They're like, do you suck cocks? They're like, oh, yeah. He's like, no, I do not. Okay, well, you can give blood. Yeah. I think gay people still aren't allowed to give blood, right? Is that true? I think that's true. Well, that's fine. Yeah, but I don't want any fucking gay ass gay blood. blood. <laughs> that's the only. It's not for AIDS. That's the only reason. It's just- <laughs> <laughs> like if you go to a really shitty hospital in the inner city, they're like, we're going to give you some gay blood, by the way. 
This guy goes, no, no, let me die, please. I think the no. blood will make me gay. Yeah, and the doctor reaches to, for a bag. It says the gayest blood. <laughs> He grabs it, he's like, nope, you're getting the bottom of the barrel here. This blood was from Mr. Hands before he died. <laughs> no, please. This man was fucked to death by a mule. It's $102 in the bank, Larry. Oh, oh Adam Sandler's wife right there. Is that really? Yeah, that's his wife. Nice. Yeah. Wait, that's really the wife? Let me see her. Yeah, that's his wife. Let me get a look at her. She again. looks like a fucking hot guppy. By the way, it's clearly like a house behind a PetSmart in LA somewhere. Mm-hmm. God, it's not great. This is what this is a house Rob Snyder's squatting in currently. Dollars in the bank. That's her. That's her. Nice. That's Adam Sandler's wife, right? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. I didn't expect her to look like. She that. She looks like female Max Headroom. She's the. <laughs> she definitely got the Brian Callen eyelid surgery. Yeah, she, and the Matt Rife jaw implant. She's the waitress at the bar in Big Daddy. Yes. That's how they met. Ooh, yeah. right. Little little trivia for you guys. Little, little fun fact. Little happy oh, Madison another, fun fact. Another fun fact. Amy Mann, those aren't her real tits. I figured that out the hard way. She has fake tits? In Big in Big Daddy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Leslie because, Mann? Leslie Mann, excuse me. Not the they, singer song. Yeah, I was Amy like, Amy Mann. <laughs> <laughs> Save me from these big yeah. tits. <laughs> you better size up. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a perfect fit. For a pair of double D's. So they just stuffed her tits in Big Daddy? They stuffed her tits because I always thought Leslie Mann had huge, huge tits. Knock. Yeah, she has tiny little little itty bitty titties. But now she has, she has little itty bitty titties. <laughs> Sorry. I know we're not trying There's to no do Trump. There's no way Judd can... His cum must dribble out of his penis. I can tell that yeah. he, has, he has the cock that's nestled he has to push his pubes out of his way to put his cock inside. He comes of he comes like when a diabetic has to prick his <laughs> finger and the blood slowly comes out. Yeah, yeah. He has to squeeze his, <laughs> squeeze dick. his dick. So a drop of cum <laughs> rises on the skin. Okay, let's see what this, his hair-brained... Uh, yeah, his hair-brained screamed. What is he doing, inventions of some kind? Larry? All we need is one of my inventions to hit big. A spoon with a fan attached. Yeah. Sweetheart. So I think this is Rob Schneider's. Uh, this has surely this isn't his wife. <laughs> she shares his last name. <laughs> the ten year old. Well, I don't know. I mean, he's very right wing. <laughs> could be. He has some crazy ideas. He did uh, spend a lot of time in Thailand. Mm-hmm. There is a scene where he turns to the camera. He goes, "By the way, I did. I don't fuck her." <laughs> You're like, what? He goes, "Hey, there's a scene where he goes, time out from the movie real quick. I, I don't fuck her, my daughter." <laughs> By the way, all right, time in. How, how do you think Adam Sandler reacts when his wife is like, "I'm going to film this movie with yeah. Rob Schneider"? Like, do you think he's like, "Just get on OnlyFans, do anything else"? He goes, "All right, I'll fucking I'll do another deal with Netflix so you can have the <laughs> bar mitzvah movie." Yeah, it, he, really, his family is pimping him out like a fucking show horse now. Who Sandler? Sandler. He just did a movie for his daughter. His daughter has a movie on Netflix called "I'm Not Coming to Your Bat Mitzvah." Really? Hmm. Yeah. Huh. Looks like a real hunk of shit. He's probably into it though. He's like a real good. He's a, he's like he seems like the best guy in Hollywood. I love. I'm a yeah. big Sandler fan. I think he just is like we. I have an empire. Like our, yeah. our money. No, you I, make, that's yeah. what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I, he's a great guy. His family is holding his him family is yeah maybe. with love. Yeah. So are we gonna get to go somewhere fun for spring break? How are we gonna pay for it? I wanna do something special for me. Jesus you do Christ. realize we're living at my friend's house. I gotta warn you. I fart in my sleep. Larry, please, just don't break our daughter's heart. Does anyone uh, understand what's going on? It's so funny a guy like this was, ra- <laughs> was raging against like the wo- like the woke culture ruining comedy. I know. <laughs> and he's like, they don't let us get away with it anymore. <laughs> and you cut to this trailer and it's just him being like a woman farting and he's like, yikes. <laughs> he's like, yeesh. It's, and he goes the left. He goes the left. These liberal cocks are ruining comedy. These kids at college, they won't let you use a whoopee cushion anymore. You can't even tell it like it is, you know. I have a fart machine. They get all angry at me when I use it. 
<sighs> There's something. Yeah. I have no clue what's happening. Why is uh, he the? Why I, is he like the Tin Man right now? Or the? I, I think I he's know. doing one of those uh, stat the, the human statue, statue things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think he was on stage opening for Sandler at like some uh, like really like Sandler's like in an arena of like you know eighty thousand people. Sure. And then Ro- he lets Rob Schneider go up for fifteen minutes and just eat nine hours before the show starts. <laughs> Like, it's just yeah. guys pushing brooms around being like, so I'm half Chinese, half Puerto Rican. Yeah, it's like Altamont. There's like 13 people killed. <laughs> yeah, the Hell's Angels go on stage and stab the them. Hell's death. Angels have like cattle prods. They're trying to stop an angry mob of people from killing him. No, the crowd is trying to stop the Hell's Angels. from. They've turned. The crowd's like, don't do it, don't do it. You've got two priors. <laughs> Apparently, he started going off on stage like he was bombing, and then he started like uh, doing like anti-vaccine stuff, mm. and like everybody was like not really <laughs> feeling it. Like he, it's not funny, but then he did the classic thing of like, "Oh fuck you guys!" Then like you don't think that's funny or whatever because it was all silent. And then I think Sandler got on the God mic was like, "All right, Robbie, that's enough. You can get off now. I think you've done enough time. Very good." <laughs> It's time to leave. He goes, all right, Robbie, if I die, you'll be dead in two years. Get off the mic. He can only tell him the truth when he does his alter ego voice. He goes, hey, pathetic hack. I saved your whole career. You're, you're a complete loser. You're an embarrassment to me. You're My loser. friends and family. I, I hate you, but I know your daughter will stop if I don't get the jobs. Yeah. <laughs> so funny mm-hmm. yeah apparently like like in front of like 50,000 people was like all right I, 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 very good <laughs> very he just gave him a very good he goes, very good mm-hmm. very good Rob uh, off. Yeah. time to leave that's like the Astrodome too yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, imagine too you're backstage you're about to perform for 50,000 people and this guy is just eating crow on stage yeah mm-hmm. get they, the fuck off also pretending he's bombing by talking he's like he's, he's probably mm-hmm. doing that like oh you too woke for you it's like you're performing yeah. for people who just figured out about the water boy <laughs> yeah right. I don't think it's I don't <laughs> right. think it's like a crowd of leftists <laughs> It's like freaking out. Sandler has Tim Hurley on the mic. Because what you have just done <laughs> is the most embarrassing. Yes, Steve Buscemi shoots him from the crowd. <laughs> I'm glad I called that guy. So what I can't figure out, I'm pretty sure there's a girl that's farting in bed with him, but he's still married to his wife. But that- he's with like a fat chick in bed. Yeah, that, I don't get that. Or maybe his sister lives with him or something. I don't know. Anyway, I mean, it's like now the, he's dressed up like the, the. It's it's tr- like trying to break down Tenet. It's <laughs> like the, one of the most confusing trailers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I won't. Mira, a daughter with a dream to get fucked uh, in the desert. A daughter with a dream <laughs> to be born to anyone else <laughs> in America. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You think she goes to school and she lies? She says, my dad's Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> Who's your dad? Woody Allen. <laughs> yeah, my mom's just Lynn. Yeah, he goes to he goes to like the thing, like the like the day, the job day or whatever. A career day. Career yeah. day, he just starts bombing in front of the kids. <laughs> Be like, all right, well, fuck you guys then. Tell us your plans for spring break. Uh, me and my family are going canoeing. Butterfly Wonderland, and we're also going to Arizona. <laughs> That's where I'm gonna get fucked to death. <laughs> my, dad, my dad's gonna anally rape me in Monument Valley. <laughs> That's where Dad said he's gonna Gabby Petito me. <laughs> dad, dad wants to make a, his YouTube career take off, so he's gonna rape me and kill me. <laughs> My dad's a travel vlogger. And he, he's going to go to Car Stonehenge and rape me. He bought a couple of drones and a Sprinter van. <laughs> he converted the van so he could rape me in it. I think he poisoned my mac and cheese. Apparently there was like a college football coach that like got arrested because he's like, he texted his wife and goes, uh, Oh, did you find out the gender of the baby yet? Like, I hope it's a girl. So when if it's a girl, I'm gonna fuck her. 
What? And then they Who? sent him to jail immediately. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, wait, what? Who was crazy. This? Who was it? Uh, let me look it up real quick. I'm gonna. I, f- I saw he this said this that yeah, out he, loud. Like in a text. Yeah. In a text. In a text. Where it's in there an SMS. Forever. Yes. <laughs> Not even with the disappearing ink. Oh my god. Was it? It was Nick Saban. <laughs> Fucker. This is a great Google search. Football coach rape baby daughter. Uh, oh, here it is. Here it is. Wait, wait, wait. No, this is... Man, there's a lot of coaches raping Oh, it's women. nonstop. By the way, this is the heyday of uh, female teachers try, uh, fucking their kids. I know. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. time to be alive if you're in high school. And honestly, if any of these kids come out and pretend that they were like, it affected their life, they're fucking, they're fucking gay as shit. <laughs> and I, I have no respect for that. You take it. You take it. You take I don't it care that May, December just came out. <laughs> And we all of a sudden give a shit about young men that were fucked. You know what's funny? I can't find it because there's so many. Yeah. Jesus, they all rape kids. I mean, it's literally part of the job. It's impossible yeah. to find. Literally, you're in the interview and they're like, all right, now we like our head coaches to rape the kids. He said, really? Wait, 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 Ben, what Who, What was the story again? He texted his wife. He was wife. trying to figure out what the gender of his baby was going to be. Did you just Google rape daughter to have it come up? <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. God damn it, dude. You're fucking, this is like, the government tracks this shit, man. <laughs> rape You're da- about to have a daughter. Also, it said daughter. <laughs> so they're going to be like, he's retarded and a pedophile. Yeah, they're like, we know if he misspelled daughter, he's going to really rape her. <laughs> Coach Do rape, coach rape baby, baby maybe text put text coach rape baby text or maybe molestation this is like maybe nothing exists on oh I think this was it is this it oh I think this was, was it, it recent was it three days ago uh Arkansas football coach Benjamin Coney oh this they were stalking a child and a conspiracy to commit rape oh well, I mean that's no big deal it might have been this. I mean, it's conspiracy. Come on. I mean, dude, it literally happens so often. We there was a guy at our at our school who was a coach who fucked a yeah. bunch of kids, and the whole the whole like town was like, "Let him back, yeah. fuck that He's girl." He's like, "He fucked him really good." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we were at football games and people had banners like, "Let Coach Tears get his dick wet." Let him do it. That's so crazy. Oh, so here, so this is the couple. They, in a chilling detail, she told the detective our husband once told her he wanted to have a baby, and if it was a girl, he could have sex with her, according to the affidavit. Jesus mm. Christ. Yeah. Well, she could, like, she could also be ratting on him because she's a part of a sick thing, too. Yeah. I also love him being like, if she's a girl, I'll rape her, but I'm not gross. Yeah. I won't fuck my boy. <laughs> Good God. Look at that cheek acne on her. Yeah. To, to quote your thing, like, a judge should just be able to look at people. People yes, and decide if I'm not guilty. kidding. Like that should be passed. Mm-hmm. You should just do the eyeball test. Look at both of them. <laughs> Look at both of them. I would just tell the bailiff just <laughs> blow their heads off. <laughs> yeah, just push them into the pit. Yeah, a th- big pit. They should just be killed with a hammer. Really, <laughs> a guy should go over with a big yeah, yeah, cartoon yeah. hammer and just start. You should make them fight each other with a hammer first, and then kill the winner. <laughs> Oh, so this was a minor league football coach in Arkansas. That checks out. Mm. Of course, he's a minor league coach. <laughs> how are they in there? How is this? Devin! Hi-o! Very good. How are they 25? I mean, this is what, like, they, I mean, they barbecue fruit roll-ups. That's what happens well, to Well, this is body. what a lot of, a lot of people, like, you ever watch, like, a true crime documentary? And it shows two people that look like they're like this, like they look like they're like in their forties. Yeah. And it and it's about some grisly murder that they were both a part of, or whatever. And then it ends, and it goes, they were both seventeen. Yeah. And they graduated. They were going to graduate were, high school that year. They never even graduated high school. And you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. They both died from aneurysms. <laughs> it's look, it like literally, it looks like John Candy and Laura Linney now. Yeah. Yeah. And you're like, what? <laughs> They were 17? Yeah. Before facing prosecution, <laughs> Brian choked to death on Gushers. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Are people going to be mad because we're talking about Rob Schneider rape? Because Be- <laughs> Listen, Why Lim- would, Lim- what, Party the, the Schneider heads Schneider. out there? <laughs> What if everybody who loves Lemon Party also loves Rob Schneider? Hey, we might I would be quit fucked. the show. We might be fucked. It's so funny to me that he, during the film, he keeps turning, looking into the camera and go, by the way, mm-hmm. I am not attracted to my daughter. I he want goes, everyone to know. He that. goes, hey, second time out of the movie, I'm not going to fuck her. <laughs> I saw Rob Schneider outside of a coffee shop like six or seven years ago in Hollywood. Was uh, he begging near, for change? Near the, <laughs> the arc line. 
He has a big board that says, yeah. we'll, do, we'll do Filipino accent He was for walking money. through the Jack in the Box drive through <laughs> You saw him trying to. You saw him trying to fake EBT cards. <laughs> but I actually, I you know, I always told you guys, I get like anytime I see anybody, I try to have any moment with them. If sure. They're famous. I rolled my window down and I I couldn't think of anything because I like he he stinks. <laughs> But like he is, I do respect. Like he's funny in like big, like he's funny in those characters in the good Sandler movies. For like you know, he's in it for like five ten minutes he throughout. Can, yeah, he's, he can, he's talented. He can be funny for five seconds at a time yeah. throughout a movie. Yeah, but on his own, it's you know. But I just rolled the window down and I go Schneider, <laughs> fuck yeah! And I drove up and he was like in. He seemed like he was in a business meeting or something in front of a coffee oh, shop, dude. and he looked really furious at me. Dude, he's <laughs> and I'm in my piece of shit jalopy. I was delivering. Postmates, I think. He goes, hey, I'm trying to do a job interview at a Starbucks. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, he was washing himself in the bathroom. I'm trying to sell knives door to door. It's a big <laughs> job for me. Let's see. Let's see what the... Money to go canoeing. Listen up, poop faces. Poop faces? Here is going to all those places. A broke dad on a mission. I mean, his face is so fucked up in this. He looks like Norma Desmond. He <laughs> <laughs> looks like Sunset Boulevard. Like, look at how insane he looks. This looks like Mommy Dearest. <laughs> You know why it is really fucked up though? It's because he's dying. He's doing the thing where he's dying his hair really dark. Yeah, like mm-hmm. brown. Yeah. yeah, and that's just it, it's so jarring. It actually makes you look much like worse it, and older. It always does. Yeah, it you literally does. you literally look like fucking strangers with care like candy. Like you're trying to go undercover as a high schooler. What is he? He's Jewish and Hawaiian. He's, or? I think he's Jewish, Chinese, and like Puerto Rican, mm. or something like that. Okay. Yeah, it, the three funniest races. <laughs> <laughs> So he's taking his daughter on vacation. Kind of, I'm going to piss on you in the desert. <laughs> I think, so here's the plot of it. He's, he's, uh, <laughs> he has a jar of quarters mm. and he, that's all the money he has to take his daughter on right. vacation. The, the, he, he saved it because it was their rape jar around the house. <laughs> Every time he rapes, he puts another diamond. <laughs> Watching. We're gonna watch other. Wait, wait, was he stuck in a car wash? No, he said we're he gonna was... go to a water park, and he took her to the car wash because he's obviously like has no money or something. Oh, mm-hmm. Which is, by the way, like of. kind of a stolen joke from a Martin Lawrence movie. Which movie? National Security. I think they go through a they go through a car wash. He's like, man, when you're in the in the hood, going to a car wash is like going to Disneyland. Right. <laughs> like it's like a ride, you know? Yeah, and Luke Wilson's like, all right, man, <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. yes. <laughs> Add it to the uh, the joke thief compilation I'm gonna make uh, throughout the week of Rob Schneider. Yeah, he's a thief. I'm, I'm gonna make a thumbnail that says Rob Schneider joke thief. He's a thief. It's Katie's- gonna be a 40 minute documentary. <laughs> and it's gonna take 4,000 hours. I'm gonna miss the birth of my daughter <laughs> to make it to Katie's- expose this <laughs> fucking fraud. Yeah. Katie's like, Ben, my water broke. You're like, not now, sweetie. I'm plugged in. I, I'm wa- I'm watching Soy Sauce Holocaust for the 40th time. <laughs> yeah. That's the name of his special, by the way. It is Soy Sauce, because he's half Chinese, half Jewish. Oh. Mm. Soy Sauce Holocaust. That's very good. Mm-hmm. Soy Sauce Holocaust. Wow. It's rhymes, too. That's edgy. Mm-hmm. Very good. Can you imagine dying in the Holocaust so Rob Schneider could do <laughs> comedy? <laughs> <laughs> what movie are you watching? We're kind of watching other people watch movies. What are we doing? We'll still have fun. I mean, who Excuse made me. this trail? Is the movie in- I mean, this might have been edited on an iPhone. Yeah, the movie must be impossible to f- understand. So the guy that made the trailer was like, I don't even, I don't know. I have no clue. Yeah. There's no I, I, through. I, like, I, it makes no sense. And nothing makes any this, sense. This trailer was made on the Splice app on an, on an iPhone. <laughs> on no an sense. iPhone 4. <laughs> They, the lady, the girl goes, we're watching other people watch a movie. And then it never showed like any, the punch lot. Like, I think they were technically outside of a, a drive-in, but like outside the gate. Oh, I thought the there gate. were just homeless people there. This were- is, these are the editors trying to solve. <laughs> they, have, they, have, they have all the footage. Yeah. It, it, it they is. have all the footage and they're trying to put it together it is. to understand the plot of Daddy Daughter. Yeah. An editor wheels up. <laughs> he wheels up. Yeah. No, it's 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 McConaughey. 
<laughs> McConaughey puts in the VHS of Daddy Daughter Trip and just and just makes Woody Harrelson watch it while drinking out of a fucking fifth. Oh fuck. He's going, nah, man, nah, fuck. Fuck, man. Uh, Don't show me this shit, man. I gotta rewatch season one. I, wa- I watched it like five months ago, but I want to do it again. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a rewatch pretty soon. It's so fucking good. I yeah. think we might we might uh, hang out with Nick Pizzolatto in uh, Austin. That would be incredible. Oh, by the way, we uh, tickets might already be sold out for the Austin, Texas show. Go to lemonparty.life. We're doing a live podcast there. Austin, Texas, February seventh at ten p.m. Yeah, at Sunset <laughs> Austin, face. Sunset These are ATX. All the places Mira wanted to go on spring break. Maybe you can join us. Maybe if you let us rape your daughter with you. <laughs> I mean, I'm not kidding. Rob Schneider, literally, he looks like the grandma from, like, Minari. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's going to set he's gonna set his uh, daughter's house on fire accidentally. <laughs> I, what is going on? He does look like a grandmother. He looks so bad. Yeah. Okay, so he got his thumb chopped off. Oh, there's the bop. Oh, I got it now. By the way, go back. Go back, Ben. Go back to the, the scene. Yeah, this. You know that he filmed this at the same time they were filming Grown Ups. He asked Sandler, can we just use the same cameras? Like I d- He's like, can't use the same cameras. Use the same location, but not the same cameras. So they were like, Sandler's like, here's a GoPro. Just hurry the fuck up. Here's a GoPro. I have no respect for you. If we stop talking, your daughter will die. I was nervous when you spoke at the My Mark Twain Award. You made me uncomfortable. You're the least talented person now. It's, it's Sailor, Sailor's Mark Twain, and Rob Schneider comes out in Chinese face. Oh, Mr. Mark Twain Award. A big American honor. Sailor's just like, wait, what? Cut it, cut it. Rob Schneider, not a comedian, <laughs> but guess who is? It's it's the the what is that that uh, Christmas oh, the song? Oh, the song. Put yeah. on your yarmulke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where it says who's a Jew and who's Yamaka. not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's time to kill Rob Schneider, Donny. Rob Schneider, Donny. Little help. I'm not touching you. I got this. Is that John Cleese? Motherfucker. <laughs> God dude. fucking damn it. Well, I think he's super anti-woke. So yeah. yeah. No, John, John Cleese, I can guarantee you, was at his fifth divorce. And they go, by the way, you're going to have to start working with Rob Schneider. <laughs> because for the fifth time, you've got all your money taken from he's you. He's anti-woke. I love how I love how they're like, we have a movie that's really going to stick it to the woke crowd. <laughs> Daddy daughter trip. Yeah. Well, the ending of the movie is she dies from myocarditis. <laughs> And then he goes, Vax? Vax? She's, she's killed in her BLM riot. <laughs> Why does everybody look like shit in this, by the way? Because they're near death. Their careers are dying. Yeah. yeah. I guess the end of it could be like the road trip ends in Charlottesville. Yeah, yeah I'm wondering how this is. I mean, it's not an anti woke movie, it's just a dumb fuck movie. There probably is at least one moment where Schneider like tells off like a, a trans person I or whatever. I bet he goes to the school and there's some like gay shit going on at the school. That he, like, You're probably right. Where there's one kid, yeah. where there's one kid like who goes up to him. He's like, I identify as a cat because I'm a straw man argument for anti-trans rhetoric. Oh yeah. And he's like, Well, you're fucking retarded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like turns to the camera and gives a thumbs up. Probably. Yeah. All right. Let's see how this uh, ends here. I'm what if what if the movie you just see John Cleese in a she- scene pull a gun at him kill himself because <laughs> he realized what he was the piece of shit he was actually making? It's really fucking me up that that's his real daughter. Yeah, and like this is something he wanted to do that he thought was like this incredible thing as a father. He brought her into the world, and now he's like. He's trying to make her a star. You yeah, know? imagine He's in trying to... 14 years, you force your daughter onto Lemon Party. <laughs> like, come on, Pod. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it, baby. Come on, talk about Grand Theft Auto 7. Just, it just say, came say, out. say, retard. She's probably going to sue me for putting her in that, that sketch we just did. She could. 
retroactive. You might have to, she didn't consent. You either. might have to hide the video. Yeah. She wins the lawsuit and you have to hand her twenty dollars out of your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> I would love if she if she if like he's like, I'll make my daughter respect her by getting respect me by getting in a film and she gets there and she's like, Why is there no like craft table? There's no like crab snacks. <laughs> why do you why are you on that fanny? Why is this, why'd you guys shoot this 100 miles outside LA city limits? Is it to avoid unions? It's going to be so awesome if your daughter grows up and she wants to get into entertainment and she's like killing it, but she's in like all the shows that we would make fun of. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, she's like, I'm hanging out with, you know. <laughs> Devin! <laughs> Devin! <laughs> Who's a, I love, she's a very sweet person, but I'm just saying, like, the, the, that. <laughs> You know, mm-hmm. the industry crew. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you're like, that right. And you go upstairs like a <laughs> troll. And you can say retard with us in a dark yeah. room. Yeah. No, I get it. Like, she's playing, like, video games with Bo and Yang and, like, making Instagram stories about mm-hmm. it. Like, yes. You're having a whole this- crew. And then yeah. she comes back home. And she comes yeah. back and home we're to in you. This room. And we're <laughs> in this room going to be, like, we're literally like the I Am Legend zombies just, like, in a circle. Yeah, just go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> By the way, being actually bad people. Yeah, being actually bad, mm-hmm. bad. Where if they ki- at that point, if they kick us off the internet, I go good. Yeah, yeah. good. Finally, good. Yeah. We deserve to go to hell. <laughs> we don't deserve this money. You're having to drop your daughter off at like the NBC lot. Yeah, and you're like, you're like, can I maybe like come in like hang? She's like, well, I don't think <laughs> not today. <laughs> Your daughter's dating Pete Davidson. <laughs> and your daughter, your, Pete Davidson's tweeting text between you guys. And he's he, 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 he tweets a, a text where you sent him your gaping ass. Yeah. It's on. like the Kanye stuff. Like Pete Davidson's like antagonizing Ben. He's like, guess who I'm next to in bed right now? <laughs> Ben's like losing his mind. He's yeah. like, he's cocking his hunting yeah. rifle. Ben's calling Charlemagne the God. <laughs> <laughs> Still one of my favorite was Kanye just calling Charlemagne the God and saying, my wife's getting fucked by a white boy with a 10 inch penis and no one cares. <laughs> That's pretty good. Just screaming that into a phone. Okay, I'm trying. There's the last 10 seconds of the trailer. Somehow we've made it through the full thing. Mm. I just want to see if there's one, you know, there's an apotheosis of this whole thing. Like, one big joke at the very end that we all go, ah, oh, we got to go to theaters. Oh, at this, we got to go to Walmart and get this film. I'm going to, I'm calling it right now. The end of the trailer is going to be a Venmo handle. Like, he's a trans person trying to get out of like, a, like an unhousing situation. <laughs> it is, a, it's the Venmo QR code. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. Best brain break of our life. God fucking damn Jesus it. Christ. And it's only at Harkins Theater. Harkins <laughs> Theater. Which literally which sounds by the way, it sounds like I don't think that's a real theater. I think it's a guy in town named like John Harkins <laughs> who has a big living room. Yeah. He has a 60 inch <laughs> TLC TCL. Oh, man. I've never seen a trailer for a movie, and at the end it says, it, by the way, it's only in one theater. It's in one yeah. theater. It's going to be the first premiere where the red carpet is made out of paper. <laughs> <laughs> Just one of those big rolls, and they push it down. God bless Schneider. God bless Schneider. God bless Schneider, baby. Yeah, that's a hunk of shit. I, I guess he's promoting it now. The idea of stand-up grew. Because when I was young, there was no stand-up. Well, there wasn't. And as a matter of fact, I mean, Jerry Seinfeld said this thing, which I, th- I agree with. Said, the what? What? The- <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what the fuck? Why are, are there they- old men? Are they in a Monty Python sketch? What's yeah. going on? They're in that room in The Shining. Yeah. There's old old men in, in like bowler hats drinking beers. Warm beer, it seems. As, like background characters? To this their is conversation. So I don't know. This looks like Twin Peaks: The Return. This is very confusing. This was two weeks ago on GB News, whatever that is. What the hell is GB News? I'm going to their X page. I don't know. It's, it's, oh, it's like John Cleese's, like the dinosaur. It's just a weird, bad British channel. News Sky channel. Apparently, this is really popular. 
I'm sure it's like Prager U for like England or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sky News, like yeah. Australia. Where they have like, like they have like English Alex Jones on. Yeah. Just talking about, you know, packies and stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Just more bullshit. Yeah. More bullshit for retards. More so. bullshit for di- different retards than our retards. <laughs> 1975, there were 40 comedians and eight of them were good. <laughs> in, in 1985, there were 4,000 comedians and eight of them were good. <laughs> and I think it's true. He told me not to go to the university. So I got an early. He said, don't go. He said, look, he did offend me. There's a cat. Uh, <laughs> there's a cat trying to eat that uh, statue of a, of a marmot. Mm-hmm. Some kind. I love trying to like seem not. You're like, here's how we'll seem not out of touch about our wokeness conversation. We'll be, surround ourselves with 90 year old Englishmen <laughs> in outfits from the 1910s. Mm-hmm. Also, also Schneider is wearing, I think, a puka shell necklace and a fedora at the same time. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, literally like a guy trying to get pussy in 1994. Yeah, LA. yeah. He's a yo-yo surfer. Yeah, getting kicked out of a big bad voodoo daddy's mm-hmm. concert for trying to rape a 17 year old. Man, this sucks ass. People and friends was don't be so uptight. He's, he's Dick Tracy, but he's yeah. but he's yeah. searching for laughs. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> sucking Dick Tracy. Yeah. <laughs> sucking Dick Tracy. He's like, yeah, she. We'll get a joke. We'll get a punchline here. Yeah, she. <laughs> Suck. Yeah, we'll talk about little boxes in schools. She. Yeah. <laughs> Wokeism is intolerance dressed up as manners. Mm. In fact, I mean, who would want to be anti-fascist? I mean, they sort of dress it up nicely, don't they? It's like, you don't want to be an anti... Who is an anti-fascist? I'm, I'm, I'm anti-fascist. Who would, who's for Hitler? I mean, who was, you right. know, and it's like... Who is an and then everyone in the room raises their hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They all raise their... Yeah. They're drink- they got hold their beers up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I am. This is being shot in Argentina right now. <laughs> yeah. we this guy have- raises his hand, he goes, I am Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> and they have my cum in a fridge <laughs> that they pump into big booty Latino. <laughs> down here in the Argentine. It is always a funny point of contention where they're like, well, who loves Hitler? It's like a lot of people. A lot of people. You'd be very surprised. <laughs> yeah, be yeah. shocked. Yeah. There's 3,000 books about the guy. There's like 4,000 documentaries. Yeah. There's like, like he's... Like he's like Elvis. The for history, a lot of people. history Channel loves him. Mm-hmm. Netflix Best loves Lerman him. Should make a Hitler documentary. Yeah, <laughs> he's blasting Rihanna over it. Yeah, yeah. And Tom Hanks is in it as like fucking, you know, fucking <laughs> Himmler. He's the same guy. Yeah, just be like, he's a jewel. <laughs> Wait, he's a jewel. <laughs> the History Channel should just be renamed the Hitler Channel. Yeah. We go because it already has the big H. You don't even have to change <laughs> yeah. it. Just, really. just, just add one more H. Yeah. <laughs> At any p- p- at any time of the day, you can turn it to the mm-hmm. History Channel and Hitler. Yeah, you just see Hitler. They, ch- they changed the name to the the Good History Channel <laughs> <laughs> and add one more H and a wink next to it uh, as the a, logo. At a certain point with Hitler, it's like, did he really do that much? I mean, mm-hmm. can you can you make four thousand documentaries about the guy? Mm. I mean, did he really do? Let's that be honest. Much? Let's be honest. Okay, there's a there's a, a documentary I'm watching on Netflix right now. It's about World War II. It's really good. Just mm. came out. It's incredible. Like maybe the best. What's it the, called? It's just called like World War II. Okay, it, it just came out yesterday. The footage. It's just the footage is insane. It's all real footage. Do they color it too? It's colored too. It's like the Beatles documentary, but for World War II. Mm. Nice. And y- you're watching it. You're going. This was l- the worst guy ever. But the most ambi- like the most ambitious, like mm-hmm. he almost got away with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he really almost did it. Yeah. He almost took over the whole fucking globe. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, and only really lost because he just got too addicted to meth at the end and yeah. started doing like wild, crazy. He only shit. lost because he had like a third act of Goodfellas mm-hmm. like ending. You know? No, yeah, literally driving around in a Volkswagen looking for the fucking yeah. the Jews in the sky. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think that's the thing people get mixed up with because he's <laughs> clearly a bad person, but he was a great man. You know what I mean? <laughs> he was. He was successful. He we was just driven. got taken off YouTube. <laughs> I mean, unbelievable. <laughs> I, but I, no, but I prefaced it with he was a bad person. Oh, no, that's but good. great man. But a great man. Mm-hmm. No, um, you just you going. I love Hitler. Hi. I'm holding a thumbs down. My thumb is down. No, thumb I, think is he, down. I think he sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Cross <laughs> fingers crossed. I think Hitler sucks. Look at him. Look at them. No, he's fine. 
It no, was a long cr- time ago. It's crazy when he got away with it. They, they, when he, they invaded. <laughs> By the way, he didn't get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. For a while he did. For a while he did. For a while, yeah, he, for did. A while he did. Dude, if Japan yeah, yeah. never bombed Pearl Harbor, which, by the way, isn't it weird that the uh, that Hanukkah starts on the anniversary of Pearl Harbor? Kind of makes you think. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. If you think of that. I never thought of it that way. December 7th. Double whammy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. That was yesterday. <laughs> yeah. It's currently oh, Hanukkah? I think it's today. Oh, it's today. There was Seventh, a, yeah. uh, on my street, there's a big inflatable menorah that says Happy Hanukkah on it. Did you mm, guys not see it? I bet it? you had some problems with that. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you're I bet you like, I'm going to replace this with another symbol mm-hmm. on fire. I, I go outside, I put on boxing gloves, and I just like... <laughs> You know, come on each candle. Yeah, come here. <laughs> I'll teach you about Hitler. <laughs> I'll teach you about Hitler, Hitler. real good. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, it shows Hitler, the, the Germans, like, they're just killing it, dude. They're mm-hmm. killing it. If Japan never bombed Pearl Harbor, would we have gotten involved? Like, like he would have taken oh, not over at all. all of Europe. No, I we feel would like. not have gotten involved. He would have just kept... I mean, I know the Russians did a lot of, like, work. The Russians, like, really helped, like, mm-hmm. hold Well, back, we, we hold pushed them back. back from the other side, too. Yeah. Yeah. And we were the ones who finished off Japan as well. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. We, we did great work. Apparently, we did, Japan... We did great work. Hitler was... When they were invading North Africa, like, the things that they did were, like... They, they put brooms on the back of the tanks just so the dirt would rile up, and it looked like they had way more men invading. And they and that's it just, they cool. just took over. Then that's pretty cool. It's really cool to me. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> I, and and the, and the North Africans liked the Germans more than the British because the British were just such smarmy cocksuckers, right? And they'd also been in Africa for like fucking five hundred yeah. years. There's videos of like North African guys, just like like a like a guy that looks like Patrice, just like doing like the Heil Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the funniest thing, too, is also people pretend they're like, Hitler just made us do all that. And like, no, every German was into it, you know, for the most part, it seemed and like people yeah. over here were into it, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, there was like a this is a very funny video of it. It was like an old woman who she's like fucking 98. And uh, they're like doing a toast at a party. And they're like, toast, Nana, toast. And she lifts up the glass. She goes, hell, Hitler. And they all go, no, 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 no. <laughs> just because she flashed back to fucking 43. Yeah. Yeah. I. I bet Japan really regrets that, huh? Hmm. You'd you'd think they would. In hindsight, hindsight but know, it's hindsight crazy. I can still get. We can still go to sushi places. Yeah. I know. Listen, they made a Godzilla movie. They, they know they fucked up. Yeah. They know they fucked up. They they woke in a, a sleeping giant, mm-hmm. as they say. Hey, you know, we were we were trying to make tempura that day. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Oppenheimer was trying to lightly fry them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's yeah. like, we're going to drop a little wasabi in the sauce. <laughs> a plane flies over and drops a uh, uh, flour. Mm-hmm. And then no, no, a plane tries, dro- uh, flies over and drops a million eggs that crack. Okay. Yeah. And then a bunch of planes with flour. Mm-hmm. And then you got to do eggs again. <laughs> bunch of planes with eggs. And then a bunch of planes with flour again. Is this is that how they make the egg thing? Well, this is how you batter something, yeah. so then you can fry it. Oh, Opp- Oppenheimer, okay. Oppenheimer's deadliest bomb was Hans Kim. <laughs> <laughs> Unleash my worst. He tried. Dro- Unleash my worst creation. He drops all of Kill Tony. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I think we're at the. I mean, we're. In, uh, if we keep recording, because it is hot in here, I'm, we might start singing the praises of Hitler, yeah. but not even realize we're doing Let's it. Let's get out of here. Mm-hmm. I've already said names. Because no though. one here is a, like, a fan of Hitler, obviously. like We all think the guy fucking sucks at the end of the day. All right, you don't have to overcompensate. Yeah, relax. Yeah. Hitler sucks. Fuck him. <laughs> ben, Ben. <laughs> what? No, ban me. Ban, ban my channel. I, I hate Ben. 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 Now, we, now we know it's getting too hot in here. What? I think he sucks. Hitler was the Why worst. Why is it bad to say he sucks? Hitler was the worst guy of all time. I wanted to go that far, but he's up there. I'd say he's the worst guy. No, There's guy, way guy, worse guys guy, who, there. Guy, guy who's like, he's top 10,000 for sure. <laughs> bad guys. <laughs> you think about it? It is funny, like, anytime... Like, 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 you should be able to say that any time a German guy thinks he's like better than you, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you should be like, you're you are responsible for the worst guy of all time, Hitler, Hitler, yeah. Hitler, retard. Yeah. You just go Hitler, Hitler, and they have to stop talking. Fuck off, idiot. Yeah. Hitler, yeah. Shut, shut up. up. 
Well, it's it's really it's weird. Um, because Austria gave us like the likes of like uh like Mozart and stuff, right? And Schwarzenegger, I think. And Schwarzenegger, but also they gave us. Is wasn't Hitler tough. also from? Oh yeah, he was from Austria. Austria yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hmm. They're really cut from a different cloth over there, huh? All right, tell you. Dude, imagine if Hitler was really jacked, like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> okay. You gotta be, and you gotta be like, listen, he's an evil guy, but I mean, the guy could fucking bench yeah. like five fifty. You know, that's very impressive. Yeah, I think, I think people actually, everybody uh, might be like the Nazi movement might be kind of a thing to this very day if he he was like really jacked. Yeah, if he was, if he looked like Sam Solak, if he was jacked, and they figured out he had like a huge dick. Because they've said before that Hitler had a disease where he had a micro penis and his dick was so fucked up the urethra was on the underside of his penis. And they like released that info and he had one like ball. Like a faucet? He had one ball. I forget the name of the disease. I think Lil Dicky has it too, where it's mm. your dick's all fucked up and he had one ball and the hole of his dick was on the underside. So yeah, he just held his tiny dick and pissed out the bottom of it. But it would be very <laughs> funny if scientists were like, by the way, Hitler, huge dick. <laughs> <laughs> fucking tree trunk. Yeah. And he was really good at eating pussy and, too. And not he and he knew how to use it too. <laughs> <laughs> Just at a press conference. Yeah. yeah. Like we Hitler's the reason there are uh Magnum condoms. Mm. Hitler invented uh fucking from the back real good like. He's the first guy to fuck from the back. <laughs> He's the first guy to fuck from the back, but do a real good like. Uh. Anyway, anyway, we uh, we condemn Hamas and uh, everything going on that you think's bad. We think yeah. it's bad too. If, yeah, if you disagree with us, we agree with you. All yeah. bad things are bad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We know the Reddit waits for us to say something so they can disagree with it. Well, we agree with you now. <laughs> so I know the reason Reddit exists for shows is to wait to, for the host to say something and then you say the opposite to seem smart and cool. So have fun doing that. Uh, <laughs> LimitParty.life uh, for uh, tickets to the Austin show. I think it's sold out. Oh, it is? Okay. I don't know, but I uh, Connor told me the other day that he went to it and said general admission sold out. So. Oh, okay. Well, well, never mind. Still, well still try. Well, there still might, try. At that point, we may add shows in other cities, so... You keep tuning in. We'll see. And we're going to figure out a format for the live podcast mm-hmm. as well. Yeah, because so, there's uh, not really a chance we could just like look at each other and do this. No, no walk, that's right. insane. Yeah. yeah, talking about we're gonna, Hitler. We're, we're, so here's what <laughs> we just we don't even look at the crowd. We're just like, so Ben, pull something up. Yeah, we we're gonna do kill Tony at the live shows. <laughs> yeah. We're just yeah. gonna do the same thing. Mm-hmm. So, uh, patreoncom slash party for more bonus episodes. Jace at Sad Drawings by Jace. Uh, Devin at Hate Watch Pod. And at Devin Costa and Instagram at Devin James Costa. Mm. And we will uh, see you guys next week. Bye. What the fuck is this piece of shit? Out in the West Texas town of El Paso. I fell in love with a Mexican girl. Nighttime would find me in Rose's Cantina. Music would play and Polina would whirl. Blacker than night were the eyes of Polina. Wicked and evil while casting a spell. My love was deep for this Mexican maid. I was in love, but in vain I could tell. One night a wild young cowboy came in, wild as-